Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet the houndstooth stitch pattern. It's a nice colorful stitch that looks good on both the front and reverse sides. To begin, chain 21 or any odd number of chains. Skip the first chain and make a single crochet in the next chain. And then in the next chain, we'll make a double crochet stitch. And we'll repeat this pattern. In the next chain, make a single crochet stitch. And then in the next chain, make a double crochet stitch. You'll repeat this pattern across the row. If you notice I'm using blue for my base color, traditional houndstooth uses black and white, but you can switch things up a bit with regards to color choices for your sample. I'm stopping right before my last stitch. My last stitch will be a double crochet, but we're only going to finish the first yarn over and take off two stitches. I'm going to make a slip knot with the white yarn and use the slip knot to finish the double crochet stitch. We're going to be carrying both yarn colors throughout this pattern, so there won't be any fastening off of yarn or tying in ends with this particular crochet stitch. Now we'll do a chain one with the white yarn, and we'll turn our work. Since we're working with the white yarn, we'll be bringing up the blue yarn and crocheting over it for all of the stitches on this row. We're going to repeat the pattern again of single crochet and then a double crochet. We'll need to crochet over that blue yarn, so it's a bit tricky to ensure you are doing that. However, this allows us to easily change colors every row without having to trim yarn and weave in all of those loose ends. Now in my original sample, I used black yarn as the base and a striped yarn instead of the white color. A nice ombre or gradient would also work in place of the white yarn. Continue with this single crochet followed by a double crochet across the row. As I approach the end of the row, I'm going to stop at the single crochet, which is next to the last stitch on this row. Because we're carrying that blue yarn across the row, it could get a little messy and uneven as we're working. Grasp the very beginning part of where the blue yarn started and the blue yarn near the finished end and gently give it a tug to straighten it out a bit. We don't want to curl or cinch our work, but we also don't want the yarn to be too loose and have extra loops where there shouldn't be any. Then turn your work back over and begin the last stitch of this row. So put the white yarn behind the work and bring the blue yarn back up again. We'll finish our double crochet with the blue yarn instead, and then we should immediately chain one to keep the strands of yarn in place nicely. Next is to turn our work to begin working on row three. Luckily, it's the same pattern on every row. We'll just do a single crochet followed by a double crochet across. But the key is to bring up that white yarn now so that we can crochet over it while we make our blue stitches. As you can see, the stitches themselves are pretty simple if you already know how to crochet. The tricky part of this stitch pattern are the two ends, as well as ensuring you are neatly crocheting over the previous yarn as you make your stitches with the new yarn. And as before, I do recommend very gently tugging on the carried yarn while you hold the beginning part firmly, just to help relieve some of the slack that might be there. Then continue working on that last stitch, placing the old color yarn behind your work and bringing up the previously carried yarn to finish the last double crochet stitch. You'll chain one, turn your work, and begin working the single crochet and double crochet pattern again. And if you do the suggestions mentioned in this video, your two edges will look nice and even for a scarf, blanket, and anything else you make with the crochet houndstooth stitch pattern.